What's up everyone, Cop Game IFC here, and welcome back to another video after a break. Now, let me be sure why I took a break. I have been dealing with personal family issues for the, ever since I broke up on on Thursday, and they, they are still going on, but I'm now in the right frame of mind to start recording, but I have to, you have to hear me out that. Do not expect a lot of content. I'll try and get content out as soon as I can. Now because of this, what I thought we'll do... But yeah, if you want to know where I have been, I have been dealing with personal matters. Don't want to tell you really, because it's my business anyway. Although I still read about some of the results on Facebook. I managed to get a miscellaneous bit up, and yeah, just been having a good time outside. Because I've much their personal issues, but I've had to prioritise time to deal with them, get on the matter, and yeah, just basically sort my head out, make sure my head adapts, and yeah, I am now in a place to do recording again, so yeah. Anyway. So today will be a video and it will be a preview over the both legs to the game against Slavia Prague. I'm going to do it over review, do a preview over the bo both of the legs now. And this is what I mean about content. So over both legs. I won't be doing a preview to Sheffield United away. Um, or a review to that. No matter what happens, but yeah, we'll be doing a preview to Slavia Prague away and at home. So we are at, so here's how it's going to go. Now, we're at home in the first leg first, and then we are away next week in the second, and yeah. I'm a bit worried about this one, to be honest with you. I know, like, from a few months ago, we were thinking, yeah, it's all good, but now it's Ryan again. Like before Christmas, it is rowing again. Especially after what we had to see on Saturday. Yeah, I still watch that game. And I still actually write about it on Facebook. And you can see what I mean now. About off being an easy side. I mean, we can't really turn up. Because I know Slavia Prague, we know what they can do. They beat Leicester. And they beat Rangers. Yeah, Champions Rangers. And yeah. If we're not careful, the same is going to happen again. No, we shouldn't be relying on facts like this. But when, the last time we played Slavia Prague at home, we won 2, I mean 7 nil. I was still a baby. I was still very little then. I was actually in my final year at nursery when that happened. And yeah, having drew nil nil away from home. Now... If we keep a clean sheet, which probably won't happen, and we get through to the second leg, and we win, and it's nil, and it's a clean sheet, we can score the away goal and cancel out extra time. Won't have to worry about extra time. Because this is what I like about having the first leg at home first. We can deny the team away goals. So, if we win, like with Napoli, we can, we're like, oh, they only got the one, if we score two. I prefer the home leg first, instead of the away leg, and that, and for a reason. That is, we have a better chance at going through, if we have the home leg first, and we keep, win and keep a clean sheet. And I mean win comfortably. Which is what we got to do, we got to win comfortably, and we got to try and keep a clean sheet. In this first leg. If we can win 3-0 or 2-0. In the first leg. And we, and that's it. We have a good chance. We can go to Prague. And we can get. Uh, get an away goal. Knowing that they haven't. And we can win. And then we might have to worry about extra time. So yeah it's really all good. And that. Well. If you're Arsenal it's not. Because we don't know how to get the job done. We don't make it easy. We just like making it hard. I don't know why, but we just do. Now, 
there's a reason why we're all fuming at the Liverpool result, because other teams were able to beat them quite convincingly. Oh no, but when they come up against us, it's just ironic that we don't show up. Now, that's why I'm not counting my chickens for this one. I know it's Pro- Slavia Prague, and it is a favourable route to the final, and it could potentially be a favourable route, remember? But yeah, trust me, we've been there and done it before. We know what it's like as Arsenal fans. Literally. It's not easy, it's going to be hard to watch, especially if they if we can see the away goals in the first leg, then we will have it all to do in the second leg, even if we win it and we still concede it. It's a very tall order, and that's why I prefer this route, because it's slightly off, and like, yeah, we're, we're under a lot of pressure, our tetas under a lot of pressure, we have to win this, this is... Yeah, our season it will be over. This competition is what we're relying on. And that. But no one's confident that we can do it. I'm not too confident. I'm not saying it's... Um, it is winnable, remember. Don't go saying, oh, we've lost this. No, just say it's winnable. It is. Remember Olympiakos? Remember Benfica? Well, Benfica wasn't winnable at first, and then we started to suggest it was. But no, if we need to just do it, do and turn up. Whether or not they will, that's a simple matter. So yeah, Slavia Prague, they have gone done pretty well. They they have done well. They're good players in that team, and we have to watch out. I mean, it's winnable, but they're tough. Winnable, but they're tough. I mean... But it's not as tough as what we could have had. We could have had Manchester United. We could have had Roma. And we... Or Ajax. So yeah. Other than... Our route to the final is simpler. And we won't have to worry about those lot. Unless we get to the final. Because I think the final will be tough either way. Even if Arsenal are not in it. But yeah. So... Players who will be poor, important then over the both legs. Xhaka, Smithrow and Saka, with either Aubameyang or Lacazette, you don't, or Pepe, you don't play all three of them at once. It's not what we thought. So either one of those three along with Saka, Xhaka and Smithrow. And yeah, I'm not going to talk about the defence. Maybe Thomas Partey, or no, it might be Partey or Odegaard. I think no set of plays will be key. Especially Odegaard and Partey, because they can break that down. They can drive through it if they keep a high line over the both legs. So, yeah, simple. Well, not simple, but in that simple manner. Just win with a clean sheet. And I want it to be comfortable, not just 1-0. Get to the second leg. If we score a lane, the away goal, count them out extra time, we're through. That's how I see it. But no, Arsenal, please just do not mess this up. If you do, the season is over. I'm telling you now. I mean, we got through Olympiacos. We got, no, we got past Benfica. We got through Olympiacos. Now we need to climb another hurdle. And yeah. So, there will be a review to this next Thursday or Friday. And yet, and yeah. That's how we're going to do things for now. Simple stiffens. Simple even stevens. Because come on. We can't. We've got to perform. End off. We've got to perform. Because other teams can. So why can't we? Because we're. Because either we're too weak. Or there's some players from the old regime. Because if anything's going to get Arteta sacked. I think it's personally the players. And that. I personally do. But no, we'll see what happens over the both leg. Tomorrow's the home leg. Next week's the away leg. And I'm going to review them both together. Kind of think of this as two halves. A football game. Two football games in one. First half will be played at Emirates. Second half will be played at... At their ground in Prague. So... So it's like having four quarters... In a match. First half of leg one. 
first quarter, second quarter, that's leg one, third quarter, fourth quarter, that's leg two. Never know how we do in all of those quarters, and how we do across the tie in general. We'll see. Let's see what mood I'm in next Friday when I'm doing the review, and that. Trust me. You're, they are freaking lucky I did not, I was taking a break from YouTube. Because I still watched that game on Saturday and we were abysmal. We were. I hope Arteta get has ripped into them. They, he better have and the players better have listened to him. And I mean listen to him. And yeah. Obviously we've got subs, I think that'll be key. And yeah. So... And the Liverpool game was just dog shit. Really was. Abysmal, abysmal, abysmal. Honest to God it was. And I don't want to see any of that across the two legs. Because if we do, we're getting slapped up. Honestly. We are getting slapped to bits. Especially if we concede an away goal. Even if we win and we can, if we win and still concede an away goal, it'll make us... Our job next week a lot harder in the second leg, in the final two quarters. But no, now you've heard me break it down. First leg will have the first two, the first and second quarter. The, s the second leg will have the third and fourth quarter. First two quarters will be played, up uh, will be playing at home. The third and fourth quarter will be playing away, and that will make two legs on each side. Made together, make one time. Half time will be after the full ninety of the of the round. And yeah, see how we do. Hopefully we can win. And yeah, let's see what I'm like. Thank you for watching, and see you in in my review next Friday. Well, not I'll do a preview to Sheffield United. That's a different matter. I might not. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to do as little content as I could. And yeah. Thank you for watching, see you in the next one.